Hi right, folks, this is the beginning algebra quiz 8. Number 1, we're asked to graph the line y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 11. Label at least two points on the line. Okay, well, uh, a couple different ways we can do this one. We can start off and realize that this is a this is in the form y equals mx plus b. The m here is negative 2 thirds, and the b here is 11. Now the b corresponds to the y-intercept. So that tells us that on our line, up here we have the point 0, 11. The slope, negative 2 thirds, tells us that uh, this is the rise over the run, which means that we're going to go down 2 units, and then over to the right 3 units. So if we go down two units and over to the right three units, where are we going to end up? Going down two units, we're going to subtract two from the y-coordinate, which is going to get us to the y-coordinate of nine. Over to the right three units means we're going to start at zero and move to the right three units, so we're going to be at three comma nine. And we can connect those with a straight line. And there it is. So the y-intercept is 0, 11, and then the point 3, comma 9. All right, so that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to plug in a couple nice values for x, get out two points, and connect them that way. That's a perfectly uh, another fine way to do it. Either way, though, that'll do it for number 1. Number 2, we're asked to find the equation of the line through two given points and to write our answer, final answer in the slope intercept format. So uh, we're going to use point slope form of a line y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1 where x1 comma y1 is a point on the line and m is the slope. As far as points on the line are concerned we're spoiled for choice. We have two of them. So the first thing we're going to need to do then is determine the slope. The way we get slope, once again, is the change in y over the change in x. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Think of y2 as being 10 minus y1 is 2 over x2, which I can think of as 3, minus x1, negative 1. So when the dust settles in the numerator, I get an 8. In the denominator, I get 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. All right. So y equals 2 times the quantity x minus what? Well, I can pick either point to use on the line. Um, I'm just going to pick negative 1, comma 2. So from the privacy of your own home, you can pick 3, 10, and you'll see that when the dust settles, you get the same equation. x minus x1 plus y1. And I simplify 2 times x minus negative 1 as x plus 1 plus 2. I distribute that 2 through. 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2. So for my grand final answer, I get y equals 2x plus 4. Now to check that this really is the line that contains both these points, we can always plug in the pair xy. If we substitute in x equals negative 1, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, negative 2 plus 4 is 2, I certainly get out y equals 2. If I substitute uh, x equals 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. And so that's how we can check it. And then I'll do it for quiz 8.